The Marriott's brand creator was an ordinary Utah man. John Willard Marriott, also known as JW Marriott, was the creator and founder of the company. Hey guys, in today's video, we're going to see about one of the biggest hotel brands, JW Marriott, with more than 6,500 hotels, and how it's the most valuable hotel chain in the whole world. You must have heard about this hotel chain. If you've not visited this hotel once, you must have seen it from the outside. Doesn't this hotel give you a sense of luxury? Be honest and tell us in the comments section below. Watch this video till the end to learn everything about the Marriott hotel chain. Marriott International is an American multinational corporation that operates, franchises, and licenses lodging properties such as hotels, apartments, and timeshares. It is headquartered in Bethesda, Maryland. Due to the recent pandemic, the hotel chains were badly affected, and so was the Marriott. The hotel chain lost for the first time since its origin in the year 2020. However, the emergence of vaccinations and signs of pent-up travel demand has resulted in a renewed sense of optimism for hotel operators and managers. The majority of hotel companies anticipate a significant increase in bookings. This summer's leisure demand has been dubbed as revenge travel by some, who have been postponing their vacations. It's gotten to the point where many hotels that cater to those summer visitors' crowds report that business is comparable to pre-COVID levels. The hotels are actually seeing a very strong recovery in demand. The company was also badly affected by the death of its leader, who had been there with the Marriott Group for a long time. Last year, in February, the CEO of Marriott, Arne Sorensen, the third chief executive in the company's history and the only non-member family, died. After some days, a 25-year-old company veteran, Tony Capuana, was named the new CEO of Marriott International. Even though Marriott International is the world's largest luxury brand, with over 6,700 properties spread across 130 countries and territories, the brand has remained true to its origins. Some of the biggest hotels under it are Ritz-Carlton, Sheraton, and Courtyard. They still pay equal attention to home-cooked meals and focus on the customer as they do on other modern aspects. Marriott became successful because it has always been grounded and pays importance to its roots. Marriott has been more of an aggressive growth company in the hotel industry. It has also grown in a variety of different ways. As a result, it has expanded its brand portfolio. It has grown by developing them in-house and outsourcing them by acquiring other hotel companies through mergers and acquisitions. They have also been very active in international expansion in a way that spreads its brand portfolio around the world. In 1993, the company divided its operations into Marriott International. The hotel management and franchising company was led by Bill Marriott Jr. and host Marriott Corporation, his brother's hotel ownership company, Richard. The newly renamed Marriott entered the luxury market. In 2004, Marriott purchased a 49% stake in the Ritz-Carlton. By 1997, sales had surpassed $10 billion. However, it was the acquisition in 2016 which cemented the brand's position as the world's leading hotel business. Marriott, led by former CEO Arne Sorensen, acquired Starwood Hotels and Resorts, which brought Marriott, Courtyard, Ritz-Carlton, Sheridan, and St. Regis all properties housed under one roof. It is believed that Marriott has been one step ahead of its competitors. It has been at the front line of evolving accommodation companies from various industries. The Starwood acquisition firmly placed them in the lead in terms of size and terms of brand breadth. However, the global pandemic in 2020 was one of the most difficult challenges for hotel operators. With hotels worldwide closing in September 2020, the iconic Hilton Times Square Hotel announced its closure. In the same year, over 670,000 hotel industry jobs were lost. COVID-19, according to Sorensen, caused more pain. Marriott's international business is more important than the financial crisis. The global hotel industry was worth more than $530 billion. In 2019, hotel brands such as Hilton, Intercontinental, Hyatt, Marriott, and Wyndham set numerous records. In 2019, there were more than 1.9 billion room nights. There are approximately 1.3 billion room nights available and sold. Profitability was excellent, unit growth was rapid, and the company was doing quite well overall. Like much of the travel industry, the coronavirus has caused havoc in the hotel industry. 
According to STR, 2020 was the worst year on record for the hotel industry in the United States, with more than a billion unsold hotel rooms by which revenue per available room led to an all-time low. The first half of the year 2021 was the most difficult. During that period, social distancing prevailed, as also some travel restrictions on the travel and tourism sector. Marriott's revenue increased to $3.1 billion in the second quarter of 2021, which was a 115% increase from the previous year. Marriott's occupancy rate was 51% in July 2021. It was up by 18% from the previous year. Marriott understands that the customer experience begins before you even consider traveling and not when you walk into one of their hotels. And it concludes long after the trip is over. This comprehensive view of the customer experience, which seamlessly blends the digital and physical, has been a key factor in Marriott's continued success. Peggy Feng Ro, Marriott's International Global Officer for Customer Experience, Loyalty, and New Ventures, has made a career out of providing world-class travel experiences. She has over 18 years of experience in the hotel industry and is currently in charge of the company's Marriott Bonvoy loyalty program, new business initiatives, and end-to-end -end guest experience. Marriott, which began as a nine-seat root beer stand in 1927, is widely regarded as one of the world's most successful hotel companies. All of this may sound more cultish than corporate. And within the hospitality industry, Marriott has been rebuked for its almost religious adherence to the Marriott way. But many of these precepts revolve around one word, resourcefulness. Following strict, documented rules may appear to stifle innovation. In practice, however, the fact that Marriott and its IT department have documents and systems, policies and procedures, and even history and philosophy to guide their decisions allows them to focus on true resourcefulness, creativity combined with a commitment to getting the most out of every IT dollar. If a company is to be resourceful, IT and the business must be in sync. Marriott's IT employees are given a crash course in the hospitality industry, and Marriott's business people are involved in IT projects daily. They must sponsor any new initiative and maintain ownership throughout the system's lifespan. As a result, Marriott employees in IT and marketing are on the same page. The company has some core values which they always keep in front of them. They have always put the people in the first position. They have always believed that if you take care of your associates, the associates will take care of the customers automatically. This is their founder's philosophy, and it's helped to make Marriott International a great place to work for over 85 years. Their people-first culture has earned them awards and recognition all over the world. It's in the company's DNA to provide opportunities for associates to grow and succeed. Marriott International has always pursued excellence. Their dedication to their customers shows in everything they do. Marriott's reputation for providing excellent customer service dates back to Jay Willard Marriott's original business goal, quote, good food and good service at a fair price. They take pride in the details every day, in every location around the world. They have always embraced and welcomed change without restricting themselves to a single aspect. Innovation has always been a part of Marriott's story. The Marriott family was instrumental in shaping the modern hospitality industry. With new brands, new global locations, and new guest experiences, they are driven to constantly challenge the status quo and anticipate their customers' changing needs. The hotel chain under Marriott have always acted with integrity, no matter what. They believe that the way they do business is as important as the business they do. They adhere to unwavering ethical and legal standards. This includes their daily business practices, employee policies, supply chain policies, environmental programs and practices, and dedication to human rights and social responsibility. They consider the customers their world, and all they have done is serve them. Their spirit to serve the customer makes them stronger. They give back to the communities in which they live and work. Marriott International is committed to five global social issues, poverty alleviation, environmental protection, community workforce development, and global diversity and inclusion. So that's all for today's video. We hope you enjoyed today's content. If you did, do let us know in the comments section below. Until then, I'll see you guys in the next one.